right, guys. Welcome Cam Smith, who is the captain of Punch GC, and he is also the clubhouse leader at 10 under. Shot four under today. Over to you guys. Cam, you uh, made a pretty big adjustment in your life just recently, but it doesn't seem like your golf has been affected that much. So what do you attribute you being able to carry over your form from the old way to the new way here? <laughs> um, oh, just keeping everything the same, to be honest. Um, you know, still doing the work at home and, um, you know, trying to come out here and win golf tournaments. My mentality hasn't changed one bit, and I think that's, uh, that's why I've played so well the last couple of weeks. Does it feel um, any different being out here, any part of the, the whole experience here? Um, yeah, it does a little bit. I, I, think, um, I think the music out, out in the golf course and on the range is, is something that I really enjoy. Um, I think everyone out there really enjoys it as well. Um, I feel like the fans are, are closer to you and they're probably a little bit louder on uh, Saturday and Sunday afternoons. But, um, yeah, I love it, mate. The atmosphere is, is perfect. And playing out there with, with the DJ, does that help you uh, stay focused as well? Does that add anything to the atmosphere? Yeah, I, I guess, um, yeah, he, he's definitely one you want to beat for sure. And, um, you know, he's been one of the best players for the last, you know, 10, 15 years. So, um, you yeah, know, someone to go up against and someone to try and beat. Uh, Griff Pippen with Country Club Adjacent. Uh, I noticed some guys are starting to untuck their shirts out there. Um do you think that uh, untucking your shirt would pair well with a mullet and help you play a little bit better? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm more of a, a traditional dresser, I guess, on the golf course. So, um, yeah, I'm always having to go at the young guys with their shirts undressed. So, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of the I'm, – I'm a fan of the shorts, just not the untucked shirt. So, uh, business on the bottom, just party on the top. Yeah, correct. Nice. <laughs> Cam, the uh, the crowd seemed fairly large out there today. Could you could you sense that, and how much did that kind of you feed off that? Yeah, I think um, you know Liv's done a great job with engaging the the crowd. Um, I think there's a great layout here in around like three eighteen seventeen. Um, they seem to get loud, and um, you know we had a really good following today all day. Um, it's a big walk out there, and um, you know the fans did it all day, so it was perfect. Could you just talk about the conditions? It seemed it seemed tough, pretty tough at times, and maybe the pins were. Yeah, we in. yeah we kind of had a you know a bit of a gusty, windy start, and then it laid off a little bit, and then got up a little bit again towards the end. So it was quite tricky, I guess, through the middle of there, uh, guessing clubs, and I think um, you know that's where I made my bogey, and um, I think a few of the other boys were kind of wondering where the wind were. So it got quite tricky. I think tomorrow, if they, if they, leave, if they leave the course B, I think tomorrow will be uh, really fun. I think it's going to be firm and fast. And, um, you know, with these greens the way they are, I think it will be quite tricky. Cam, uh, Jake from Country Club Adjacent. Uh, just watching you out there playing for millions of dollars in front of thousands of people, listening to music, hanging out with your boys, uh, it just must be a pretty cool thing, huh? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's something that uh, I've got used to over the last couple of weeks, and um, I can't wait to keep this going. It's it's unreal out here. I I love the energy. Like I said last week, I think the course has a has a heartbeat. Um, everyone's really engaged, and everyone's really watching what you're doing. And um, yeah, it's it's awesome. Right on, mate. <laughs> uh, I know you're not from the U.S., but you've played here long enough. But Places like Chicago, Boston, they aren't cities that have regular tour stops. So do you feel like that's a, a positive for Liv to be able to serve some of these fans that don't get a chance to see PGA Tour golf or yeah. elite pro golf? Yeah, often? absolutely. I think um, I think it's great to bring golf to where it hasn't been, uh, you know, f for a very, very long time. Um, I know uh, we were up in Chicago maybe a few years ago, but um, it seems to be one that goes on and off the schedule. So I think the fans really appreciate it and, you know, hopefully we can come to these communities and keep giving back and um, showing them what they want. Hey, uh, Teddy Fenton with uh, Luckiest Golfers on Earth podcast. Congrats on another great round. You played great today. Um, my, my question is about what's going on in Fan Village with the, the mullet action. Um, I, I walked by and asked them, and they're, they're almost up to, you know, 50 haircuts. That guys have gone out and got yeah. mullets, and um, Liv is going to donate $1,000 for each of those haircuts. So... 
Um, my question is, what amount of money <clears throat> would we need to pull together to donate on the Punch Golf Club's team for you to not only all get mullets, but go all clean shaven? I mean, no, you no. got the you got the mustache going. <laughs> you know, Jonesy's got a little stubble going. Mark's got a full beard, and Wade's got a stash too. So, what amount of money would we have to donate to get everybody clean shaven? I, I think um, I think Punch GC's a very uh, got a very unique style throughout the group. I think we're all a little bit different. We all have our little quirkiness about us. Um, to shave it all off, mate, I don't think there's a I don't think there's a number it'd take. <laughs> um, It'd take a lot. Um, I know for me to get rid of this, I feel like this is my good luck charm, so I'm going to hang with it for a little bit. Right on. God bless you guys. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Cam, what was the uh, key stretch of holes today to try and score so you could could make a run at DJ? Um, I think those first, those first few holes, first maybe five or six holes, uh, really gettable, I think. Um, you know, seven's a tough par five, eight's, you know, quite easy downwind. So that first, you know, six to eight holes, I think, is is one where you can definitely make a move. Um, I played them quite well this morning, um, given the conditions, and, um, you know, I'll be, I'll be uh, looking to get plenty of birdies there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And just what's the feeling being right there at the top again with a chance to, to win the individual this week? Yeah, it's great. I mean, that's why that's why we're here. We're here to win golf tournaments and, um, you know, to be in contention on another Sunday is fantastic. Um, you know, hopefully I can get one of these things done so sooner rather than later. Thank you. Mike, last one. Yeah, just how do you balance the individual versus obviously punches right there? Four aces have won the last three. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow, you're going to have to balance or maybe look at both of them. How do you uh, how do you go into yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, it's it's a very unique situation, one that I'm probably not used to yet. But I find myself looking at the team score more than the individual score. Um, I was saying to DJ today, it's it's so hard to work out where everyone where everyone is on the individual score. You don't know whether they got an easy stretch of holes coming up or a hard stretch. Um, so I try. I actually try not to look at that. Um, I'm interested in what the other guys are doing in my in my group, and um, yeah, you know, meant like telepathically egging them on, uh, um, hoping they do well. So yeah, it's definitely different, but um, I enjoy it. So everybody, we've been talking about the the mullet center for haircuts out in the middle of the fan village. Cam is actually going to go over there with Greg Norman right now. I think we might be getting Greg Norman to get a mullet. So <laughs> if you guys want to go cover it, go watch the action. We're taking Cam over there right now. All right. Thanks, thank guys. you, guys. <laughs> $1,000 I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>